right, so an interesting stylistic clash here. Prevailing Wisdom is he's going to try to take his opponent down and get off some of that patented ground and pound. Yes, and once he's on top, he starts to just gain control first. He does not try to rush to the next position because he understands whether or not he's in the guard, half guard, or side control, he can find ways to land big damage. In the side control, he does a really good job of going knee on belly, crashing his body all the way to the top, and just coming down with big punches. Boom, once he lands, he goes back and he secures. Right. Then he goes back to find another, another big strike. He does not waste energy just throwing little rabbit punches. Everything has to matter, as you've seen in some of the great ground and pound fighters right. you've ever seen, like Jack or Manson. Guy that beats you into the bottom of the octagon until you roll over and give up your neck to get submitted. Yeah, nothing pitter patter about it. No. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arm. It's unbelievable because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure the sure. themselves. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Both fighters 29 years of age. And they have the same height and reach. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 22 wins, one loss. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting at a Mekhat Kala, Russia, Ishaq Makachev! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, 4 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, All right, the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fight. They touch him up, and we are underway. type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Great punch. Just out of range with that right hand. Single collar tie now. Just missed with the straight left hand. Again, back into this position. Nice double and potentially a critical takedown here. Full guard now, DC. For the top fighter, you gotta be very careful because most submissions come from the full guard. So advance to half. Try to build posture. But if you're the bottom person, the moment your opponent tries to move to the next position, build a shield. Kick off the hips and get back to your feet. 
Three minutes to go here, round one. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Close guard. Nice hammer fist. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. And he switches his stance yet again. Nice punch there by Choi. Oh, single collar tie here. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he's landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate. Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Trying to stay in this fight! What a round it was. DC, take us through the replays. Punch after punch. He landed him at will. He went right at his opponent, got in his face, and showed this is my octagon. We are going to dance to the beat of my two. Ready? Let's go, fight. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. How about that shin? Nice loop and punch. Oh, the master of the transition. Nice rim. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, oh. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit, finish him off the fan, pass the peak down. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh! News hurt. Serves him up. Oh! Oh, get him. oh, look at that. He leapt up and landed the diving punch to the head. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity patty. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. 
So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Oh! All right, so the takedown's the big storyline in that previous round. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and got to be pretty discouraging to get grounded that many times in one round. Oh, it's so discouraging because all you want to do is let your offense go, but every time you're getting dragged to the floor constantly, you're starting to get fatigued. He's starting to wear on you. Let's see what type of effect it takes on his offensive approach as the next round starts. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Takedown defense holds up. Hardy right, closes the distance, gets the single collar ties. this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound. Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Just over two minutes to go. Official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Lugliot has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 26 seconds at round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. So the 
celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.